Hey, glory. Amen. Amen. 279. I, I thought that was you playing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everybody stand, if you will, there and uh, turn with me to page 279. 279. A new name written in glory. Okay. New name written in glory. We'll sing all three verses of this song here. All three verses, 279, a new name written in glory, okay? All three verses. Amen. I was once a sinner, but I came pardon to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that he always kept his word there's a new name written down in glory and it's mine oh yes it's mine and the white road angel seen the story a sinner has come home there's a new name written down in glory and it's mine oh yes it's mine with my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam. I was humbly kneeling at the cross, fearing not but God's angry frown. When the heavens opened and I saw that my name was written down, there's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine, oh yes, it's mine. And the white road angels sing the story. A sinner has come home. There's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine, oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam. In the book is written, say by grace, oh the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven, and I know by the blood I am made whole. There's a new name written down in glory, and it's mine, oh yes it's mine. And the white road angels sing the story, a sinner has come home. There's a new name written down in glory, and it's mine, oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam. Amen. Great singing, wonderful singing. And uh, turn with you page 130, okay, <clears throat> 130. And uh, we'll sing here. Um, little much when God is in it. Okay, page 130. <clears throat> and I'll do all four verses of this song. <clears throat> page 130. Amen. <laughs> all right. In the heart, it feel not right, being there's a word for all to do. Heart the voice of God is calling to the harvest calling you. Little is much when God is in it. Labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown and you can win it if you go in Jesus' name. Thus the place you're called to labor. Sing so small and live to know it is great if God is in it. And he'll not forget his own. And little is much when God is in it. Labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown and you can win it. If you go in Jesus' name. Are you laid aside from service? Body worn from toil and care. You can still be in the battle. In the sacred place of prayer. Little is much when God is in it. Labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown and you can win it. If you go in Jesus' name. When the conflict here is ended. And our race on earth is run. He will say to all the faithful. Welcome home my child well done. Little is much when God is in it. Labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown and you can win it if you go in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Good to see you. Welcome, everybody. So glad you are here. Praise the Lord. Welcome back. And we're, we're blessed to have our college students back. Amen. Amen. JT and Mark, they're going to join us in the choir tonight. Welcome back. We're going to have you come on up. Y'all come on up. Come on, choir. You can join in. Come on in, guys. Come on up. Hurry, guys. Come on up, fellas. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Amen. Welcome back. Amen. Put you right to work serving the Lord. Come on, guys. Right for the Lord. Choir, come on up. Come on up, choir. Good to have these guys back. Amen. We love you guys, praying for you guys. Amen. What a blessing it is to have you back. Amen. And you pray for them. And pray that they'll have a wonderful summer. We'll encourage them all. Amen. Devil's fighting on them, but we're, bless God, God's people fighting for them. Somebody say amen. Bless God, not going down without a fight. Somebody say amen here. Fight for you. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Welcome, everybody. We're welcoming you here. Amen. We're glad you are here tonight. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. We're so thrilled you're here. And be thankful for this morning how God blessed us. Amen. Be thankful how good God's been to us. Isn't that right? How he met with us, how he blessed us. Amen. 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 Give God the praise. Give God the glory for it. Amen. He's been mighty good to us. Amen. Spoke to us through the word. Amen. Singing, preaching, teaching, giving. Amen. 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 Welcome, everybody. We welcome all those online, watching, listening. Thank God all different countries responding. People in our country responding. God has been so good to us. Amen. And the word of God is being spread. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Let's go to God and pray. Let's, let's go to God and praise him. Let's go to God and give him glory. Let's go to God and give him honor. Isn't that right? And you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, Brother Grant. Come on up in the choir. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Brother Grant. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up, Brother Grant. Cheer him on. Got a, got a new choir. Got a new choir edition. Cheer him on. Cheer Brother Grant on. Amen. Cheer him on. Bring the baby, Joy. Come on, bring, bring Ava. Got another, got another addition to the choir. Bring the newborn baby up. Amen. Amen. Come on, Marisol. Get on up here. Get up here. There's a, there's a spirit of kindness, of mercy, grace rushing through me. Coming through my, coming through my, coming through my feet. Going up to my head, fighting the devil. Come on, says the roof. Come on up. You're in your seventies. You ain't exempt. Come on up here, says the roof. You ain't exempt. Come on here. Bring your, bring your, bring your mask if you have to. Elijah, get on up here. Hurry up, son. Get on up here and hurry up. Come on, says the roof. You're safe and sound. You're safe and sound. Safe and sound. Come on up. Come on up. God bless you. For all he's done, Brother Burley. For all he's done. I want to hear it. For all he's done. If you don't know the piano part, you can come on up. Oh, you, got, you, got, you got, okay, she, she believes she can. Okay. You got the music? Okay, you want to try it? You want to go with us? You just want to do it a cappella. Okay, we'll go ahead and with the piano. Just blend in with her, whatever. Okay, for all he's done. Amen. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, thank you. We can pray. Bless the ones that are watching online. Bless the ones that are here. And may you pour your spirit upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. He meets my every need 
You know he's been so good to me, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done. For all he's done. I'm going to lift my hands and praise him for all he's done. I'll try to live my life to please Him, even though I don't deserve to live. My life has just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done. There are many things. Praise God for. And if I started now until I died, there'd still be many more. If I could mention only one, I'd have to thank Him for His Son. Now that's enough to praise the Lord. For all he's done, for all he's done, I'm going to lift my hands and praise him. For all he's done, I'll try to live my life to please him. Even though I don't deserve to live, my life has just begun and I can't but praise the Lord for all he's done. Even though I don't deserve to live, my life has just begun. And I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let's everybody stand, please. Everybody stand. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's everybody stand, please. Everybody, if you will, please stand. Get your get your song get your song book there. Everybody standing. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Two hundred and thirty-three. Two thirty-three. Stand, please, if you will. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Sounds beautiful. Sounds wonderful. 233, heaven came down and glory filled my soul. 233, thank you. 233, would you grab a song book, please? Grab a song book. 233, heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Okay. Oh, what a wonderful day that will be. I'll never forget After I wandered in darkness away Jesus my Savior I met Oh what a tender compassionate friend He met the need of my heart Shadows dispelling with joy I am telling He made all the darkness depart Heaven came down and glory filled my soul and filled my soul. When at the cross the Savior made me whole and made me whole. Hey man, my sins were washed away and my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul and filled my soul. Born of the Spirit with life from above Into God's family divine Amen! Justified fully through Calvary's love Oh, what a standing is mine And the transaction so quickly was made When as a sinner I came Yes! Took of the offer of grace He did proffer He saved me, oh, praise His dear name Yes! Heaven came down and glory filled my soul and it filled my soul. 
When at the cross the Savior made me whole and made me whole. Yes, my sins were wiped away, and my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul and filled my soul. On the last, now I have hope that will surely endure after the passing of time. Amen. I have a future in heaven for sure. There in those mansions of life. Yes. And it's because of that wonderful day. The cross I believe. Riches eternal and blessings eternal from his precious hand I receive. Amen. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul and filled my soul. When at the cross the Savior made me whole and he made me whole. My sins were wiped away and my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. And everybody said, amen. Now we're going to put um, Mike on that piano. We're going to sing one more song. But on the internet, you can't hear the piano. Because it needs a mic there. Okay? It needs a mic. Okay. So, Elijah, come grab one of these mics over here. Come on over here, son. And grab one of these mics. And uh, bring it over there by the piano. Okay? Bring it over by the piano. And we're going to put a mic on the piano so they can hear on the internet. The piano music sounds so beautiful. Amen. It sounds so, so, so beautiful. Amen. And... Um, I want them to hear, I want them to hear how beautiful it sounds. We're marching to Zion, 399, we're, we're marching, we're marching to Zion, 399, turn there, if you will, 399, we're going to sing, we're marching to Zion, and I'm glad this old world is not a home, we're just Amen. passing through, Amen. we're marching Amen. towards heaven, friend, Amen. it ain't going to be long, we're all going to be in heaven, isn't that right? We're going to be up there. Isn't that right, my friends? Amen. And we're going to be marching on streets of gold. Mansions bright. Amen. And we need to be thinking about heaven. It breaks my heart when we're knocking on doors out there. And I talk to them and I ask them, do they know they're going to heaven? They say, I don't know. They say, I'm not sure. Or they say, I hope so. You know, we want them to know they're going to heaven. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. And you can't say you're marching towards Zion if you don't know you're going to heaven. Isn't that right? You got to know you have a place reserved there for you. Amen? Amen. Laid up in heaven. Laid up in heaven. Amen. Okay? So the best of your ability, you want to get it inside that piano as close as you can. And it will pick up some on that, on that, um, on the microphone there. Okay? Okay. So 399, we're marching, we're marching to Zion. Okay? 399. Okay, good. Come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. The surround the throne and the surround the throne. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching onward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God. But children of the heavenly King, but children of the heavenly Speak their joys abroad. They speak their joys abroad. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. 
Zion, we're marching onward to Zion, the beautiful city of God, the hill of Zion hills, a thousand sacred streets, before we reach the heavenly fields, before we reach the heavenly fields, a walk the golden streets, or walk the golden streets. Amen! We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching onward to Zion, the beautiful of God. Then let our songs about and every tear be dry. We're marching through Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we're marching onward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Amen. God bless you. Pray for the grace angels. Pray the Spirit of God would use them, and, and God's Spirit will help them to sing. And, and thank you so much. Your singing sounds beautiful. It sounds wonderful. And orchestra, thank you so much. And uh, uh, we... Just thank God so much for you, and uh, and so eventually we'll get some mics on the orchestra too, so they can hear it in, on the internet. But thank God so much for what is being done tonight. I've preached in a lot of churches across this country, and a number of them had no special music, and they had no one playing instruments, uh, no choir. Good people. I enjoyed preaching for them. We had, we had a wonderful time, but we've been extra blessed around here Amen. Amen. with servants of God. Amen. Thank you. You want to serve. That's why I encourage uh, JT Amar and just serve the Lord as much as you can. Find out what, what the man of God wants you to do, and I'll tell you what, find out what your parents want you to do. You honor your parents. I promise you. Your days will be blessed. Amen. And you honor. That's right. And give honor to them. Amen. And you honor. Amen. Amen. And uh, nobody will love you as much as your parents will love you Amen. on this earth. Amen. I promise you that. Amen. And I'll tell you what. We prayed for you. We welcome you back. We're so glad. We're going to be here to motivate you as much as we can. That's in our power. Amen. And the rest of you. Amen. 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 We thank God so much for you. And love you dearly. Amen. And doing all that we can do Amen. to motivate you to serve the Lord. Amen. Because there's no better thing than to serve Jesus. Amen. 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 And thank you for serving these young people to serve Amen. the Lord. Yes, and we love you dearly. And Mark completed his first year in JT. Let's give them a hand. Proud of you guys completing your year. God bless you. Some have dropped out. Some have quit. Some didn't make it. But thank God by the grace of God you made it. And you can keep going on. And we're going to strive to encourage you. Amen. Okay? Father, bless, we pray. The grace angels, as they sing, the Spirit of God, use them. Pour your Spirit upon them. And the listeners tonight, bless our online listeners. Thank you for the response that I get, the encouraging words I get from a number of them. Thank you for our, our friends there in India and Pakistan and all over. God, they wish they can have a building like this. They wish they can have a service like this tonight. And God, we've been so blessed here. Bless these people that are listening that are here. And those who are listening online, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Wonderful. Let's everybody stand. Everyone stand. There should be some bulletins right back there on this side here, and uh, there should be some bulletins right right there. Elijah, I believe there's some right over here, right over there. And Tim, brother Tim, thank you. Got some bulletins um, um, from this morning. Um, I can use one here. Others might need one, and we passed them out this morning. And you might not got one, and. Um, I want you to look at the bulletin if you didn't get one to look on with this morning. Okay, let's everybody stand, please, if we will. Thank you for that song. People need the Lord. We all, we all need the Lord. And um, we need the Lord more than anything else. Amen. Amen. And uh, we need him. Got to have him. Amen. Amen. And uh, after you get saved, stay close by him. Isn't that right? Amen. Well, you can be seated. Thank you. Um, the bulletins, we got, we got some left here. Yes. How many got left? Good. Good. Just raise your hand. We got plenty. Yeah, just raise your hand. I want you to look at it. And I want you to look at it. Just raise your hand if you don't have a bulletin. Yeah, just raise your hand if you don't got it. I want you to make sure you got got Good. Great. Make sure you got it. Okay. All right. Henry, always remember up front. I don't have to, I don't have to tell you up front. You, up front. Okay. Hurry. Hurry. Up front. Okay. I don't want to keep telling you that. Okay. All right. You young people, I don't keep, I don't keep reminding you. Get up front. Okay. Hurry. Hurry, don't make me do this during the service. You're, you're, you're taking people's valuable time up. If you just be up front, you remember. Up front, front. You know what front means? I'm three. Count three, four, three, four, pew. Three or four, pew. Count three. One, two, three. Count. Count. You know, you know English? You know English, right? You know, you know math, right? One, two, three. Three or four. Y'all know, you know how to do that? Good. Up front. You good? Oh, you're good. You, you, you're wonderful. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Amen. Okay. <laughs> Everything's all right. You young people want you close to the heart of the pastor. All right. Want to help you. All right. Reaching out at you. We got them serving the Lord. They're older now. Ask them where they were. Up front. They were in the back. 
Somebody gave you a free ticket to an NBA game or a basketball football game or some celebrity you have, you'll be up front. We don't have to have it ask you. We don't have to tell you. Amen. Yeah. It'll help you. Help you be more alert. And uh, we love you. We want the best for your future. That's right. That is, that is the truth. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? All right, good. Great. The bulletin. And so excited about this the week's opportunity to serve the Lord and, and uh, these opportunities and, and ask God to bless each service and how God has been so wonderful that we'll be able to have these wonderful times together. And, and you can see as you in the bulletin here, um, wow, before you know it, it, it'll be here before you know it, our Bible conference. And, and I want to say thank you. You've been working hard towards it, making it a big thing. And the bigger we make it, the more God will do for us. Amen. It's been outstanding what's been happening. The beautiful decorations, the things that we've been accomplishing. Got the carpet in and uh, going to get some painting going on, Lord will it, in a timely manner, hopefully, prayerfully, before the conference and brighten this place up with uh, uh, just a blessing as the money comes in. And uh, have professional painters come in, and uh, just it's going to take it's going to take uh, money. It's going to take finances. Yeah. But thank God, God's people rallying together. Uh, we do have that um, Nehemiah project sheet. Let's go in and pass it out there. Okay, we got some right back there on the other side there. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and pass those out right over there. Okay, they should be right there, right there on the table there, Elijah. Right there. Okay, so it should be right there, uh, Brother Tim. Right there, you got them. Let's pass them out. The, the, did they move them? Did they move those sheets? There should be some left over. Try that side over there. Good. Yeah, pass those sheets out there. Uh, some of them to get get it this morning. Okay. Good. You got them. Good. Some of them to get. Some of them to get it. Okay. I know I, I got one here. The Nehemiah project. All right. Okay. Let's get it out to the ones that don't have it. Okay. Uh, we're striving to raise money um, for God's glory. We got a new carpet down. Of course, we'll get some painting down. New doors. Want to get some, thank God, some new doors installed. Um, brand new windows and frames. And a new look on the building. Pavement outside. Beautiful brand new pavement, parking lines. Um, drop ceiling, brick cleaning. Um, I want you all pray about it. Amen. We're striving for a $50,000 goal. Yeah, yes, right. And I'll tell you, we got that $10,000 uh, for that bus that we raised, to God be the praise, at the end of the school year. They've been leasing that bus to the Knox County School System, letting us rent it, letting us use it every week, taking care of the um, mechanics, taking care of the insurance. For a year we've been doing this. And at the end of the school year, it becomes ours. How about that? Give them a $10,000 check. God's people rally together. God's people. God's people. Amen. Thank God the carpet and money's coming for that. And we're striving for the paint and going through stages. And as this money comes in, well, I, hey, I, I'd be a blessing somebody to donate $50,000 to us. Amen. Get Amen. it done right away. But sometimes God wants, he, 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 wants us, he wants to depend upon him. He wants us to pray. He wants us to, he, it, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair. I don't even want one person just doing that. I, I want us to get the blessing. Amen. I want us to get, I want us all to be able to get the blessing. Every, everyone do what we can. Because I want you to be blessed. Amen. I want to be blessed. Amen. Do what we can. And God will do the rest. Amen. Amen. Amen? But you pray about that and, and see these things accomplished. And I remember we raised the money for these padded pews that came in. How about that? Remember that? Seems like yesterday. That beautiful floor downstairs, the sound system, the heating and air, all that we were striving to do. You see? We get to get Liz tonight before she goes back to Florida. <laughs> okay. Had a little delay there. Had a seat problem there in that seat. Uh, went, went and go down. The way, uh, you, you, it's, it's, no, it's a whole big story. Poor Liz. She was squished in the stairwell. But, but God, God, God's gracious. She's got another vehicle. But pray she travels back to Florida. She's such a help in, in getting JT up here. And I didn't have to go to Florida and pick JT up with my wife. And, but we thank God for, for Liz. And we love her. Welcome her back and cheer on Liz. And thank God so much for her. Love you, Liz. God's protector. She works a job there in Florida, and she goes to a lot of different places, and she's been alone at times on the highway, and, and I'm sure God's angels have intervened. That Liz, really, Liz really could have been murdered. She could have really been killed, but God has protected her. 
you know, she's protect, you know, and and um, and I'm, I'm glad she's armed. I encourage her to be armed, but it's going to take more than that. It's going to take God. You can have a gun. You can uh, have things to protect yourself. But if you don't have God protecting you, many a times they had guns that didn't even work. And we need God. So you pray for Liz every day. I love, love all my children, every one of them. Pray God's grace and mercy on them all. And um, but we get to have her another night. And she, um, I was looking on the news. I said, Liz, do you know it was your city right there that they said didn't have any gas in those places, and there were lions, and and and, and they're they're just waiting for gas, and lions are backed up, and right right there in, in Tallahassee, there I believe it was, and um, and they don't have, things we take for granted, be able to go get gas. Those people couldn't get gas. So so there's a delay. Like Liz said, you never know what she, she might have faced um, going down there. And so you pray for her, okay? Amen. And we appreciate you so much. But anyway, um, um, would you go ahead and pass out that, if we got any more there? Um, I believe we might have some on the text um, giving there. Uh, Brother Tim, uh, Elijah, there might be some there. Check on that table there. There might be some more of those big ones that were um, passing out there. And um, so uh, take some of these, encourage people about the text giving. You can give by text giving. And um, you know what's amazing about this, this QR code? It, it is amazing. You get your camera. Some of y'all don't think it works, but it works. It work, it, it, I know it worked for me. You put, your, you, put your, um, you put your camera, you put your camera on your phone over that QR right there in the bulletin, right there in the bulletin. Look at it. As soon as you put it over, you click it, and it takes you to the donation spot where you can donate. This is amazing. Look at that. Put it right over there. Some of y'all, hey, you're on top of technology way before I was. I used to see that thing. I said, what are people doing? I said, what are they doing? People paying for this? People paying for this? People ordering things? Huh? Well, God's people got smart. Thank God the churches got smart. Amen. They said, hey, if the wicked people can use it in a wicked way, Amen. let's use it in a good way. Amen. Let's use it with tithes and offerings. Amen. Let's use it to donate. Amen. It, it is amazing. It is amazing. Um, all this modern day technology. And God wants his people to give. And so you can give by text giving them um, there on, on, our, on our website. On our website. Now, these new pictures, I want you to look at them again. Look at our website. Let me say gbbc.us. Now, go to it. Good night. Some of you, I can't get you off your phones, but now I want you to do it for good, for good things. You, 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 you're lagging your feet, trying to get you to do something good. Look at your church website. Some, some of you, I know what you be doing on it. Somebody help me now. But, but look, look, go to your browser there and uh, go to gbbc. Do it now. Do it. Good night. Some of you, brother, brother, you know what? Some of them, I can't even get their head picked up through the whole sermon, through the whole service, and they're staring on their phones, the whole thing. Now I'm trying to get them to look at something good church-wise. They don't want to look at it. <laughs> Explain that to me. Okay, it's hurting me right. Okay, go to GBBC, and if I ask some of these guys to go to the NBA, what the what score is, they, <laughs> brother, they'll be knocking me down get it. Okay, so GBBC.us. Go there. There it is. It popped up. Now, 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 there it is. Scroll down. Look at the different ways you can give. Look at pictures of the choir and preaching and people in the church. Look at the Bible conference. Look at the letter. Share the letter with people, the rare Bible conference letter. Share it. Share it. Share it. Now, now go to photos. This is where I need you to send me some pictures. Um, thank God um, we've got people start sending pictures to us. Go to the photo gallery. Now, you go to the photo gallery. Scroll up. Scroll up. We've got new pictures. New pictures up there. Scroll up. Keep scrolling. You got to hit look at more or, or you get stuck. Okay? You got to keep on going because there's pictures. Oh, you got to view more. You see, see where it says view more? Hit it. Hit the button. Hit the button. View more. There it is. Pictures there. More pictures. So many different pictures. Beautiful pictures. I love pictures. I told you. I got them at my office. Tons of pictures in the hallway. I got pictures of these kids when they were little toddlers and juniors, and teenagers. I need to pull some of them out. I, I remember Sister Barnett, Brother Burley, used to babysit. My dear sweetheart, she would babysit. Brother Burley, you remember? you? Good night. You used to treat, uh, look out, look. Uh, young man, Mark. Look at you see it. Young lady, Amen. adults. Amen. We're, they were babies. 
They were little toddlers. My kids are growing older. You lose a, uh, all the ones here tonight. It's just Ruth. Look at Liz here. I believe she's the oldest one here tonight of my children here tonight. She's up there. <laughs> Liz, you're not an old lady, but, but, but you're an adult. Liz, we remember we got pictures of you little baby. And I'll tell you, oh, these are precious pictures. These are precious pictures. Isn't that wonderful? And so share these pictures with people. But, you know, the main thing, let's glorify God. And I look at the years, past them 36 years, I've been a blessed man. Twelve kids, nine grandchildren. Some of the best people in the world in this church that I get to pastor you. I want to say thank you. I love you. Let's give God the praise for all these years. 36 years. And we're going to celebrate in June. And we're going Sunday through Friday in our Bible conference. And that Friday night, we're going to celebrate. Amen. We're going to celebrate. My wife is a miracle woman. The first lady they call. That's what they call the pastor's wife, the first lady. She's not a stuck-up first lady. She's got to be one of the most humble, got to be the most humble pastor's wife on the face of this earth. And serves around here, decorating and cleaning and just leading the way. And she loves you, dear sisters. She loves those teenage girls. And so I want to say thank every one of you that have a part in Grace Bible Baptist Church. Amen. Some of you are good at social media, and I want to encourage you to send all this stuff out. I want you to know your website, gbbc.us. Just think about Grace Bible Baptist Church. You love Grace Bible Baptist Church? You love the United States of America. Amen. Amen. We love our country. Amen. So it's simple, gbbc.us. Some of your relatives should have been getting it by now. They should be hearing it by now. Really, friends should be knowing about it. Go ahead and spread it wherever you go. Let God use you. Let's everybody stand, please. You, can, you got so many different ways to give tonight. The main thing is going to use that envelope. I would encourage you to use that envelope. All right? Go ahead and use it. And if it's from the Nehemiah Project, put it on there. You know, you can be specific. That, that's fine. That, that, that's fine. And uh, you can be specific in that, in that area that you want to help with the Nehemiah Project. That's great. Whether it be missions, whether it be, you know, um, your regular tithe, to help the general fund operating expense, keep things going on. Um, the Bible conference expense, so many expense there, uh, so much. We're going to go to another printing company tomorrow. These flyers are beautiful. They are beautiful flyers. And uh, make sure you carry flyers. Another company's making another one. And this looks first class. And I've been getting so much compliments on these flyers. Well, you can text them out. You can email them. But people have been saying, wow, God has really blessed you. Amen. And it's a reflection on you. It's a reflection on our church and me, Amen. what we think about our God. Amen. We're doing it for him, friend. We're doing it for him. Amen. 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 Let's stand if you can. Brother Tim, be back there if you want to swipe your card back there. That, that's fine that way. Amen. You can do it that way. Okay? Swipe your card back there. All right? He'll be back there in a little while. He'll meet you back there. Or if you want to know more about text giving, you can do it that way or on the website. Um, Liz, Venmo. She wants a Venmo. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Venmo, Liz. That's fine. Amen. That's fine. We'll Venmo it. Amen. Amen. We'll give it. Hey, man, man just <laughs> whatever. You, you're comfortable texting? Amen. You're comfortable Ven PayPal? Amen. What are you comfortable in? Amen. Hey, Amen. hey, let me tell you something, friend. Amen. Some people, if we, anyway, we can get it out of you. <laughs> Bless God for it. Thank God for it. You better give it while you can. Amen. I got some people say, hey, you better, you better hurry up. You better hurry up. There's cash in our hand. You better make sure somebody comes get that thing. We'll make sure. It, we'll pick it up. But they said they, they have a problem with cash. It, it burns pocket, burns through the pockets. it would be gone. And we'll spend God's tithe and offerings. So we'll make a way. Amen. 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 <laughs> some of them like check. They like writing the check out. Only problem with some of them is be bouncing all around town. And you get fees when it bounce back. But thank God if it goes through, we, we appreciate that. Isn't that right? And we got one that sends in the money order. They just like sending money orders. You didn't think there was money orders out there. Send it in the mail. Bless God, we get it in. Isn't that right? God loves a cheerful giver. No matter what way you give, he loves a cheerful giver. Amen? Wonderful. All right, Brother Bro's going to come and pray. You come and pray, Brother.
All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask the Lord blessing on the giving at this time and ask, Lord, ask the Lord bless as we give. Father, we come before you, Lord, thanking you, Jesus, again, and this wonderful, great opportunity we have to give to the work of the Lord. And, Father, we get, get a chance to, but just to, to let you know how we appreciate we love you, Lord, and you're so good and you're so gracious tonight. And I pray you bless the giver tonight. And, and those that want to do more for the Lord, bless them. Open the doors through the Lord that they may be to do more for Jesus Christ. Thank you how you've been blessing our church. We cannot thank you enough and praise you enough, Lord, how you've been blessing us and providing for us, Lord, and all these great projects that we have, Nehemiah Project. I pray you bless us, dear God, and I, I'm, I'm, I know you're going to come through, and I'm trusting and believing you for the great things that you're going to do, uh, how he the, the house of God being beautified and getting prepared for our rare Bible conference, Lord. Bless us for Christ's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> Jacenia hand, courage her on. God bless you. Pray for joy and uh, Jacenia. We'll have them work together on this next special, okay? And uh, pray that God will bless them. Spirit of God will help them, okay? By the way, this wonderful flyer on um, the Nehemiah Project, Joy, did a wonderful job designing that. Let's give her a hand. She does such wonderful work. She has helped us proofread these flyers where these companies, um, they, she has saved so much time for them and um, proofreading, and she is a proofreader. I I'll tell you, God has blessed her with that gift. She'll spot some things a mile away that I have never seen, they haven't seen. And so I want to say thank you, Joy, for that. We just appreciate so much your servant spirit, and um, I want to say thank you so much for that. Busy, just had this baby, um, and, um, and uh, little Lorenzo, and Brother Laron, we appreciate you, love you, and joy so much, and thank God so much. I love my son-in-law. Thank God for him. And um, But let's bow our heads in prayer, and I, I want you to pray that the Spirit of God to use joy and, and uh, Jacinia tonight. We pray the Spirit of God will help them, and you're praying and asking God to speak to your heart. And you feel welcome to worship God in tithes and offerings at the table there. In a little while, Brother Tim will be there at the table. And uh, he'll be willing to help you to swipe the card there if we need to do it that way. And feel, feel welcome to worship God during this time and tithes and offerings uh, by, the, by the table there. Let's bow our heads in prayer if we will. Okay? Let's pray. Father, we pray you pour your spirit upon joy and the Jacenia. Use them. Glorify you and magnify you, we pray. In Jesus' name, bless the listener as well. Amen.
Get your songbook. Thank you so much. That's precious. That's wonderful. Get your songbook there, please, if you will. Get your songbook, if you will. And we're going to sing another song, okay? And um, 332, no, not one. No, not one. No better friend than Jesus. Isn't that right? But you get your songbook there. If you will, page 332. 332. No, not one. That's right. No, not one. All right, wonderful. 332. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. None else could heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one, no, not one. And yet no friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. There's not an hour that he is not near us. No, not one, no, not one. No night so dark, but his love can cheer us. No, not one, no, not Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide to the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. Did ever saint find this friend forsaken? No, not one, no, not one. Or sinner find that he will. No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide to the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one, no, not one. Was there a gift like the Savior given? No, not one. No, not one. 
Will he rip us up home in heaven? No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Let the church say amen. All right, would you get your Bibles and turn to Psalms chapter 34. Thank you so much. Psalms chapter 34. Psalms chapter 34. Psalms 34. All right, Brother Brothers, come and read the scripture at this time here. Okay. Psalms chapter 34. And uh, I'll let you get ready there, Sister Jacenia. She'll minister to us in a song and a solo. We'll get right into we'll get right into the sermon. Okay. Psalms chapter 34. This time we're gonna begin reading in verse 3 at this time. And he'll go to verse 11, 3 through 11. So he's going to read verse 3, Psalm chapter 34. He'll read verse 3 by himself, lifting up his voice. And you're going to read every other verse down through verse 11, 3 through 11, Psalm 34. Okay, again, uh, Psalm 34, verse 3 through 311. We'll read these verses responsibly, and I'll read the first verse, and you read the second verse, and so on, all the way down to verse 11. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his thanks, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the reading of thy word tonight. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us being church and the Sunday night service. And thank you, Father, we're able to assemble together to hear the words of God. Bless us now, I pray. Fill our path with the Spirit of God and give him power and liberty and use him, Lord, to preach your word. Open our hearts to listen to you. May you get the glory from it all. In Christ's name, amen. You may be seated. Jesus. 
34. Thank you. God bless you. Thank every one of you um, here tonight. A blessing to me. Congregational singing, special singing. I want to be a blessing to you. Thank every one of you. And I want to be a blessing. And uh, more to learn through Psalms 34. We're titling it tonight, the ch uh, part two, and picking up from uh, this morning. And uh, re uh, look at this verse here. And, 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 oh, magnify the Lord with me. And King David, no doubt, says, do it with me. I want, I want you to do this thing together. I want us to agree on it, work together on this. I've been through trials. I've been through troubles, he's saying. I've been through heartache. And, of course, uh, he's been through so much. Uh, as far as Saul, you know, tried to kill him and running for his life and, and uh, turned against him and somebody jealous and envious towards him, trying to kill him and take his life. God spared him, but he made up his mind through all his trials and heartache. He'd been through so much, his own son tried to kill him, kill his daddy, had his uh, son's gang go against his daddy, and to kill him, and of course, his daddy wept and cried, and, and he never wanted his son to be killed. He was hoping that he'd get right with God, and, um, you know, it broke his heart, King David. But he kept on uh, going. He kept on uh, glorifying and magnifying. He had health problems. He had hurt and health problems because of his rebellion against God and because of his sin before God, he realized the loving God would chastise him and spank him. He almost died, but he kept on praising him and kept on serving him. He, he, he repented. He was sorry. He asked God for forgiveness, and of course, he had a baby that died. God killed the baby. God literally took the baby, and he begged God not to do it, and God did it and taught him a lesson, and um, he learned his lesson. And the Psalms 51, I was sharing with somebody last week. I said, read Psalms 51. I mean, God forgave David. I mean, you know, he was hard-headed, just like we all get hard-headed, but he was more hard-headed than we are. And, and, and But he took his whooping, he took his spanking, and kept on going, and God used him. And you explain to people, don't get mad at God for things you've done. Be like David and confess to God. Ask God for forgiveness. In other words, get the whooping over with. Get it over with. Thank God we had parents that loved us and spanked us. Man, just get the whooping over it. Amen. And then psh, we would yell and scream, I won't do it again. Then we did it, pow, until we got tired of doing it. Somebody say, man, Amen. Amen. it helped us. Amen. I didn't hate my parents. Amen. I thank God they were trying to help me. Amen. And King David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. He didn't get mad at God. Amen. He didn't get angry at God. He said, God loved me enough to whoop me. He loved me enough to spank me like the like, like young, of course, the pastor didn't do it. He said, Pastor, please spank me, whoop me. I wish I could get a whooping like the other girls. I, I, I look at my life. Look at my hurt. You know where I've been. You know the nightmares I have. I was able to do anything, go anywhere. I wish I had a parent that would spank me. He said, Pastor, please spank me. Of course, he didn't do it. But she wished she had a whooping. That's the problem with some of these little brats. That's the problem with some of these little brats. They have their behind worn out. 
You know I'm telling the truth. Then have somebody love them. And there's those that are rotten in prison tonight, rotten in jail, rotten there. Because they didn't have somebody to love them, care for them, like they should. In many cases. Some of the cases God tried to warn them and straighten them up through the parents. They listened to their parents, so they, the, 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 the correction, the Department of Correction had, had to do it. And some of them it took death. But I promise you, if you learn to praise God, don't get mad at God, don't get bitter, and get, uh, have an attitude you want God to be magnified, glorified, he'll use you. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Do it with me. Amen. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. I made an interesting comment, not because I made it, because, because it's God's wisdom that I believe he gave me. I said there's 50,000 that we're striving to raise, raise to, um, you know, to remodel our, our, our beautiful building that God's blessed us with. I said, I really don't want the 50,000 to come from one person tonight. And what is the wisdom of that? Because I want each person in this room to be blessed. Because the Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. I want to do this thing together. I want to exalt his name together. The Bible says that uh, he'll open the windows of heaven and pour out a, room, pour out a blessing. There won't be room enough to receive it. I don't want to be selfish in one person getting that blessing. Amen. Amen. You need blessings. Amen. I need blessings. Amen. I need the, the windows of heaven to open up. Amen. I want an opportunity to give in this Nehemiah project. I want us to exalt his name together as we get new windows and strive to get new windows. And not just the glass part, but the frames. And I want it to look beautiful for God. I want to get the brick clean for God. The carpet to glorify God. I, I, these things glorify God when we raise it together. The air conditioning and the heating system and, 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 the, and the media, uh, uh, the, all that we need and the things that we need and, and accomplish in the buses and the vans and somebody shout some, we did it together. We need a transmission in that van was able to raise the funds and somebody say amen. Able to get a ceiling downstairs. And then the fellowship hall, we raised that money for that drop ceiling down there. God help us with a drop ceiling air. Right. Right. Nothing too big for God. Right. Come on. I don't want us to just one person do it. I want us to do it together. Amen. I want to exalt his name together. Amen. And I want marriages to be blessed together. Families to be blessed together. Amen. I want us to be together in this thing. Amen. That's why I love when the choir sings. Love when your group sing. It was working so the orchestra. The people doing, and you're doing it together. The decorations, the beautiful decor. I just love the Bible. Oh, so, I believe my wife's the beautiful, decorated, wonderful, decorated in the world. And you help her. You help her. You wait till you see this building, how beautiful it looks. You just wait. Especially patriotic, red, white, and blue. I, it's hard for me just to wait. I wish you'd get started, maybe even right now as I speak. It looks beautiful. It looks wonderful. And I love it. But people help her with the decorating. Amen. The painting that we're going to get some done around here. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. The beautiful stairs outside. Coat of paint. It just looks wonderful. Why do you do the, for the, hit, hit, glorify him. Look, oh, look, what's that? Oh, let me hear you say, oh, oh, oh. get into it. Amen. Oh, come on, let's, let's get with it. Let's contribute. And thank God. It's just wonderful to see working together and people cleaning, people decorating, people painting, people repairing, people sacrificing together. The preaching, the, singing, the, the work of the flyers, the beautiful flyers. Oh, they look so beautiful. Number you worked on that. Thank you so much. It took time. It takes time. It takes time, the printer. It takes time, the money. It takes time, the finances. Working together. The ushering, the sound. The nursery, um, the, the feeding of the people, the cutting of the grass. All these things, do you, do you understand? We magnify, make it God big, and, and people say, look, look what Jesus is doing. Look what God, don't you see Jesus? Look at, look, at, look at their smile. Look at their amens. Look at their hallelujahs. Look at the way they're dressed. They don't come to church looking like they're coming from a stinky honky talk. They don't dress like they're coming from a stinking bar. That preacher don't come up there with his jeans on and his shirt, a little t-shirt, show his little hairs coming through his chest. He'll come out. Somebody help me out. 
Look at him. Look, he look like he means business for God. I tell you, look sharp, guys, with them white shirts and look like you're a businessman for Jesus. Looking like, looking like you're not a. Somebody help me out. Get you a decent haircut. Get you a get get, get you a haircut that, that shows the world you want to be a sharp young man. You want to be conservative young man. Somebody say that. I'm talking about the way you carry yourself and the way you dress and the, you come up to the house of God. Hey, you, you, you take it serious the way you're dressed. Sure. You know, you magnify God. You make God big the way you dress. And young ladies with skirts and modest dresses on. Don't look like a bunch of whores. Don't look like a bunch of prostitutes. Don't look like a bunch of street walkers. Somebody help me and say amen tonight. Hey, you magnify God. You make God big when you obey your parents, when you honor your parents. You make God big. Let's do this thing together. Let's do it together. You know, it's more than the earring on the ear looking like a fag and a queer. It's more than looking like a sodomite. It's, lo- it's more than looking like a little girly. It's more than just growing your hair out. It's a shame for a man to have long hair like a girl. It's more than just looking like a girl. It's more than just looking like a lady. It's more. It's saying, I want to magnify God. It's a shame for a man to have long hair. And I want I want to magnify God. God made me a boy. I don't want to look like a girl. God made me a man. I don't want to look like a lady. Give all that jewelry to my sister. Give it to my mama. God made me a man. And I'm not trying to get some girl parts. Somebody say that. And then if I'm a girl I'm not trying to get some man parts you magnify God when you're that way you lift him up you make him big when you tell that boy you can't feel on me until we get married can't kiss me tell that girl you can't get off your phone get off quit be acting like a stinking addict quit acting like a dope addict phone addict Put your phone down and learn to say amen. Learn to say hallelujah. Quit corrupting your mind. Magnify God when you honor your parents. Magnify God. Exalt his name. Lift his name up. You come to church on a Sunday night when others are staying at home, watching TV and running the streets and doing what they want to do. You lift his name up. You exalt him when you're in the house of God on a Sunday night. And you do it together. Some were text giving. Some were doing it on the button. I'm talking about uh, through the week. Doing it on the web page. Some were maybe the code, QR code. You do it together. Some were checks. Some were, some were cash. <laughs> different ways people give. Different strokes for different folks. Some Venmo. Amen. 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 Somebody, you never know what way they may do it. But the main thing is we do it together. We do it together. Thank God people want to give. Thank God people want to give. Some people as a plate passed by right there, did it together. Some would go by the table. The open machine, punch the number in. <laughs> to God be the praise, man. You lift his name up. And you do it together. And uh, some, sometimes people get the wrong idea because I preach hard against sin that I don't love people. Yes, I do love people. And that's the reason why I preach this way. Because I want you together to serve God because God will bless you. And the Bible says here in verse 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that what? Fear him. And what? Delivereth them. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that what? Fear him. This is why. This is why we do what we do. This is why we scream and holler and cry. We want the God's angels watching over you. We want you to fear. You know, my wife says something. Thank you, sweetheart. She says something so interesting. I, I listen. And you listen, too. You listen to your wives talk. Thank God for your husbands. 
But sweetheart, you may not know it, but it was encouragement to me to hear you say it. She was talking to somebody. Talk about her dad. She said, now she loved her dad. She loved her dad. She feared her dad. And she made a comment, never, never, the way these kids talk, ever. Or you'll be picking her up from the floor. I mean, literally picking her up. He loved her. But you talking about the fear. Not, not that, that she, didn't, well, she loved her dad. Her dad loved her. It was just you would not talk the way some of these kids talk to their parents. Do you know who God is? Do you know, understand that he's a, he, he, how great and mighty. You read this Bible. You know the lightning. You know the thunder. You know what God, do you have any idea of all the diseases in this pandemic? Do you understand that death in his hands? Do you understand that sickness is in his hands? Do you understand the power that he has? Do you understand the love that he has? Do you understand that, yes, he's a God of love, but he's a consuming. I, I know I'm not going to hell. You know you're not going to hell, but there should be such an awesome respect. He made the sun. He made the stars. He made the world. There ought to be a fear of respect of the consequences you will face. Yeah, I get a fear. You wouldn't listen to that stick of rap, wicked music. You wouldn't watch that stick of wicked movie. You wouldn't be another porn or pornography. You wouldn't go. You wouldn't pull the stunts you're pull of the lying and the stealing and the sneaking and the conniving and the cussing and the cursing and acting like a stinking barnyard animals. You know, Joseph said, how can I do this wickedness? I'm far away from home, but I'm in the sight of God. You need a fear. The heart attacks, the deaths, the, the, the crashing on the highway. Verse 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. And what? Deliver them. Young lady, and I thank God you grow up and you be a young lady and young man. And we're thankful for you. And I'm glad you want to be independent, and I thank the Lord for you one day. You'll be all independent. But don't be stupid. Don't be foolish. Don't show your independence by rebellion. Do an opposite what your parents taught you. Don't you be stupid. And show your independence and not be faithful in the house of God and serve God in the house of God and love God and live a good Christian life. I'm going somewhere. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. We're trying to put a fear. We want you to fear him. Respect him. There's going to be a day and age you need his angels to deliver you. Those young people, they had their independence, college. Something about the college life. Something about the college life. Something about in your college days. Don't be stupid. They went up there couple miles from here. And young people, I want you to have fun this summer, okay? But don't be stupid, okay? Don't be stupid. You're going to need God. Amen. It's a crazy world. Amen. I know there's a lot of stories how they ended up over there. I know there's different stories that you're going to hear. But they were church young people. They were church young people. They had parents that I believe taught them right. Make a long story short, they raped her, tortured her, gagged her. We won't get in detail what they did to her. They put bleach down her throat so there'd be no DNA. We'll just leave it there for all eyes, little eyes on us tonight. We want to try to be, have some discreet discretion. Okay? All night. All night, tortured. Folded her up while she was alive, put her in a trash can. The Lord, Psalm 34, verse 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that what? Fear and what? God is right. They're wrong. God is right. You're wrong. I'm wrong. God, it's not God the problem. It's going to cost you one day you don't fear him. Amen. Amen. You're going to need his angels. Amen. Amen. 
I'm not finished with him, stripped him naked, sodomized him. We won't, we use discreet, we'll be discreet with these little kids in there. Those wicked men, whatever they did with them, with an object, sodomized them, tortured them. Naked, left him there on the street, a couple miles up there, burnt his body on fire. You listen to me, you listen to me well. I can tell you about rapes. I can tell you about murders. And brother, the problem is not God. The problem is not his angels. It's trying to get the fear of God in some of these young people. I can tell, tell you dead bodies were all over the city. All over the city. I can tell you, I can show you young people that sat here, they're in prison, they're in jail. I can show you right now. They're out there tonight. They're out there. And I love them. Paying child support, paying alimony. And the answer is not getting mad at the at the parents. The answer is not getting mad at the preacher. The answer is getting mad at your own self and get up and be like David and say, I need the angels of God. I need God's blessings. Quit blaming everybody else and just get right with God. Quit trying to blame why, why this happened, why that happened, and just realize you love your sin more than you love God. You know, the answer is not running and avoiding. Uh, Pastor Barday, he's going to get up and he's going to preach to you. Brother Burley, he's going to get up and preach to you. So we're going to go run to some church where they don't preach to us. What are you talking about? You're going to need the angels one day. You can run to any church. And that preacher that chooses not to preach to you, he'll stand before God for that. I'll tell you once you come around here, brother, we ain't preaching to the walls. Forget that. Forget it. I preach to myself. I preach to people. So I want God's angels watching over you. I mean, good night. I'll tell you, the angels, I believe, Look, has, by God's grace, God has sent angels. And, and can I say this, please? <laughs> Kids, don't be selfish. Think about your mom. Think about your dad. Think about your preacher. You say, it's my life. Yeah, but what about, how do we feel when you're raped and killed? How, how do we feel when you're in ra- ra- prison? Ra- how do we feel when you got to take that child, you got to take that child to this other parent? And you got to break up the week. And you got to break up the days. By the way, I I believe they they, they shouldn't be running from me. They should be saying, what about my daughter? I don't want her to go through it. I don't want my son to go through it. That's what they should be saying. They shouldn't be saying, I ain't coming to church because he might mention it. You ought to be saying, thank God he mentions it. I don't understand that junk. My preacher get up, preacher gets long hair. I thank God he's motivating me to get a haircut. He loved me. I didn't get mad. Bless God, I hit the altar when got an haircut. Amen. 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 I didn't get mad. Amen. I just stopped wearing the corn braids. Well, I, mean, I thought I was cool. That's the reason why some of them do it. I thought I was slick. I've grown my hair out. I think, figured the chicks like it. Figured the chicks liked it. Oh, stinking nappy fro. Stinking nappy fro. Even my wife, I had to get right with God with her. She seems to my picture, old nappy fro. Oh, nappy for too. I went through it. That's why we're going to be patient with some of these right here. I was a pastor. I still had a little lopsided fro. I was a pastor. Look at some of my pictures. That's why I'm going to be, I'm going to be patient with some of these. Long suffering. Now you can run and stick and run. And you can, hey, you can run. But I'm telling you something, friend. You can't hide from God. He knows that heart. He knows where it comes from. He knows who you're trying to follow. And I'm telling you, the best thing you can do is follow Jesus, follow the man of God, follow your daddy, follow your mama. They're the ones that loved you, sacrificed themselves to you. Somebody say amen. And some of you quit trying to be policemen. You better get the stinking garbage out of your life before before you start preaching against their haircut. You got stinking wickedness in your heart. Trying to get in somebody's business. You ain't the pastor. Last thing we need you to go up to somebody. You better thank God they don't look at you and say, what in the world you done to me? <laughs> Come on, somebody say, man. It's like the black cat calling another black cat black. 
Like another white cat. Do I call another white cat white? <laughs> I never see so much stinking foolishness. I never see so many nosy people in all my life. Every one of us needs something to get right on. Every one of us needs to get get right with some things on. I already told you, everybody's going to get mad at the preaching. I get mad on my own preaching. My wife's going to get mad. My church is going to get mad. My children's going to get mad. That's okay. I'm going to keep preaching this book, brother. It don't mean that I don't love you. It don't mean that I hate you. I'm going to keep preaching the God's book. I want you to know you got a man of God that's trying to teach you the right way. Trying to put some fear in you. Want the angels to deliver you. To deliver you when you're on the highway. To deliver you from the murderers. To deliver you from the dope man. From the lecture man to deliver you from child support and alimony and halimony. I don't want some guy that's thinking to rape you and kill you and leave you dead. You got a mama that loves you. You got a daddy that loves you. You got a church that loves you. What in the world were those Man dressed in white, they said. They were coming after them, and they were going to kill them. And those, they, they, they were the, 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 I'm telling you, these missionaries were in, right in the place where these cannibals would eat them. And I'll tell you, it was raw exact time that mama was praying. God dispatched them angels, and they were going to kill these missionaries. And those guys took off, running, head running. They run. They took off. <laughs> and they, and they, they met those um, barbaric people. It is said, they said that night after they led them to Christ, and they got to know them. They said, who are those dressed in bright colors and swords? And, and they said, the mission said, nobody was with us that night. They said, we see them. We see them with our own eyes. God deliver them. Amen, Find those right so what they said it's the right time, Mama, you be praying. It happened to them. When Mama prays. Amen. Mama, God wakes you up. Dad, God wakes you up. He sometimes he does me. And I'll go to prayer, man. You never know what God may be doing. God may be saying, I'm giving him one more chance. I'm gonna give him one more chance. I know there's times I could have died. I know there's times my children could die. I'm sure Liz had testified times she could have died. God kept her alive. And we love you. We don't want anything bad happening to none of you. When we say tithe and give, we know Ananias Sapphira was taking out this world. We know it. And the Bible says fear came upon the whole church. So we need fear. We need fear. Verse 9, oh, fear of the Lord, ye saints. For there's not, for there's no want to them that fear him. Verse 9. Oh, oh, let me hear you say, oh, oh, oh. You're getting it. You're, you're, you're getting it. You're getting it. You get it. That, that, that is um, the opposite of looking at your phone during the sermon. Let's get, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, God might be putting some. He might be put some. Might be trying to put some fear here. Oh, fear the Lord, ye His saints. Now, child of God, whether you believe you're a saint or not, if you're a child of God, you're a saint. You say I'm a sinner. I know, I know, but He sees the blood. He sees the blood. In Egypt, they put blood on the doorposts, and the death angel went around. And then come and kill because they seen the blood. God sees the blood. You're his, ch- you're his child. And God says he wants you to fear him. Look what it says. Oh, fear ye as saints, you that have been washed by his blood. For there is no what? Want to them that will. You know what it's saying? God will take care of you every need. God will take care of every need. So, so, Pastor, how did in the world did you have 12 kids? How did you do it? God took care of us. Just like he's took a year, two or four Amen. or six. Amen. God always came through. Amen. God always came through. Amen. If God's merciful to the stinking wicked heathen out there and graceful to the wicked people out there, he's pleading for them. He's begging them, doing everything he can do to get them right. 
What do you think he'll do for his own children? Talk to me now. Uh, I, we always want you to get your needs met. That's all. That's all. Trying to get you to avoid some heartache. God take care of you. Isn't that right? Young lions do lack in verse 10 and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall what? Not want any what? Does that include a husband? Does that include a wife? Come on, talk to me now. I'll tell you what I'm finding out. Some of them don't want to yoke up and get married, but they sure want to sleep together. They sure want to kiss together. They sure want to sleep in the same apartment together. Oh, they don't want to get married. I want them. Sure, live like a prostitute for the house, for the bills. Come on. What, what, do, you, what do you call it? Exports? Uh, what do you call exports? How, what's the word for it? Escort? What do you call it? So escort? What do you, escort service? What, what do you, you don't talk about prostitutes? You know, you think of wicked men. You know, hook up with the, you know, what do you call escort? What, do you call? what is it? Ex, ex, some of you don't even know how to say it. Some of you don't even want to go there. What, how you say it? Escort. Wicked. Shame on them. Shame on them. Ain't your wife? Shame on them. Ain't your husband? Shame on Don't do it for a steak dinner. Don't do it for a night at the motel. Don't do it. The wicked man, he might have AIDS. He might have a disease. You don't know what that man, so you don't know that woman might have. <laughs> Those young ladies said it's burning on fire. I messed up in God's judgment. And you better believe in God's judgment. What do you expect God to do? What do you expect the health? What do you expect to hurt? What do you expect for God to do? The disease control. Isn't that right? Tell them about the disease control. There are diseases God put upon people. It'll make them fear them. Let me study some of these diseases. You think after this coronavirus, a pandemic, you think a lot of them straighten out. Some of them will start whoremongering even more. It's like in Revelation, they're going to curse God. They're going to cuss God. The burning and the fire. No, it's time to get right and fear them. Isn't that right? And so, come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the what? I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Oh, there's so much we can say tonight. Oh, it it, it pays off to live right. We're going to skip a lot of this because sake of time. You read it when you go home. But verse 19, many are the what? Verse 19, many are the what? Afflictions of the who? Of the righteous. But the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Friend, friend, does this mean the coronavirus? Does this mean the pandemic? Friend, I don't care what affliction. There's so many afflictions that you go through. But I want God to come through for you. I don't want you to scream. And that girl, help. Mama, dad, help. I don't know what's going on that night. I don't know as they were raping her. I don't know how they were tormenting her. I don't know. All I know that it pays off to live right. It pays off to go soul winning. It pays off to tithe. It pays off to give. If God has made you righteous by his blood, do right. Read the Bible. Do right and pray. Do right out of your parents. Do right. Do right. Pass out gospel tracts. Do right. Don't watch a bunch of wickedness. Do right. Young people, do right. I beg you, do right. I understand people are flirting around saying, I understand, but do right. Do right. Mama taught you right. Daddy taught you right. Do right. Do right. It's time there should be kids crying over their brothers and sisters and weeping. Weeping. They know better than to date some stinking Muslim. They know better than to date some unsafe Catholic. They, they've been taught right. They've been taught right. I don't give a flip what some boy talks to you about. You ought to be crying over your relatives. Flirting around with beer and drink and clubbing. But thank God he ain't killed them. What do you think this is? You got a mom that loves your dad that loves. Hey, look up here. Then you're going to start dating. Then you're going to thank God. You didn't get the girl. You're going to thank God. Especially when you start feeling all the other boys. Look up here. When 
and she starts feeling uh, sleep with somebody else. Come on, come on. Look up here. Amen. Amen. You're going to wish to God. You're going to thank God you didn't get, get up with him. You know, I'm trying to shake. Some of you, some of you can't stay away. God bless you. you you're going to have to get some control. You want to stay up all night looking at your phone, looking at the TV, look like a drunk man the next day. It's going to get you, man. Get something in you. Sunday, save your best for Sunday. Save your best, save your energy for Sunday. It's time to work for God in the church. Exalt his name together. It's Sunday. It's singing time. It's giving time. It's preaching time. It's amen time. Don't clock. God, give you seven days. Don't clock your Sunday. Don't clock your Sunday. It's God's day. It's the Lord's day. Save your best for Sunday. The coach gets out there and says, save your best for the game. Save your best. Don't stay up too late at night. You got a game. You got a game. I'm proud of you, Liz, tonight. I talked with Liz, and she was thinking, should she, should she travel tonight, or should she come and stay and get up early in the morning? I said, Liz, you never can go wrong if you, if you find out what would God want. What, what does God want? Would he want you to leave tonight or to be in the house of God and leave in the morning? Not what we want to do. What do you think God would like best? What, what do you think would work out better? You can never go wrong when you do it for Jesus. And you say, I'm going to do it. So I believe this will be the best thing because this is what would, would it please God more. For you to be encouragement to us, we'd be encouragement to you coming together with each other. Encouraging each other. Being here where God is and praise him and the, Worship him together. Exalt him together. Be a blessing to somebody. Amen. To come to give. Amen. And it shall be given to you. Amen. You never could go wrong in life when you're trying to make a decision. Right. Yes, you said, would it please God more? Amen. We had a good conversation there about uh, so, so sometimes people do it virtually. That's wonderful. But that's a way. There's nothing like being in person. Coming together. When Jesus said, don't forsake the assembling of ourselves. As the manner of some is. Encouraging each other. Encouraging each other. You see? You understand? Sometimes you think things is a joke, but when you visit the prisons, you visit the jail, it's a, it's a break. It's a broke, it'll break your heart. You see lives that are broken. I talked to my sister pastor. You talk to him. Your age, your age. Where are they in right now? Doing life in prison. I shot somebody, killed somebody. I could take you homes that they're broken. They did things they never thought they would do. It hurt their wives, hurt their children. So never say you won't do it. There's been pastors far better than us that blew it, that blew it, that lost their fear. And some ask, is there any hope for us? There's more hope because we see what happened to his wife and his family. Hello? You want to go through that? You want to go through that humiliation? You want to end up in prison? And a man of God stopped fearing God, was stripped of wisdom, was a celebrity, and now in a prison cell? Friend, that, 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 hey, hey, you better think about that before you stick and mess with all that stuff on that phone. Amen, amen. Where it's going to take you. You get to the point, you, you can't even got a, you ain't even got a pure thought. You ain't got a pure thought. It's like a drug. So much lust. And Jesus said, you just look at that woman and lust, you commit adultery. Verse 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of their what? Troubles, verse 17. The righteous what? Cry. And the Lord what? Hear it. And deliver them out of all their trouble. Can I ask you about that young lady and that young guy? Why didn't God deliver them out of that trouble? They had parents, church kids, on a way to a party. Now, young people, there's going to be a lot of parties. It's not the party that's wrong. It's what's at the party. And it said they were going, young people, to watch a movie. Young people. 
It's not sin to watch a movie. It's what kind of movie you're watching. It's been a long time since I walked them pews. Yeah, I'm about to walk it. I'm about to walk it. I am so close. I am so close to walk it. I love you. But you got the look. You got the stupid look. Because the devil been messing with you. You hear me? You hear me? You got to fight it. I know that stupid look. And by the way, I love them. But why ain't they here tonight? They can't make it. They're too weak. Satan's got them right where he, got them, where he wants them. They couldn't come if they tried. They couldn't make it. Listen, but thank God you made it through those doors. There's some that can't. And the Bible says we better not strive. We better learn to be patient. We better, I'm telling you, God, we better pray to God to grant them repentance. That they may recover themselves from the snare of the devil. And God's got them some shacking up tonight. God's got them some paying alimony tonight. God's got them somewhere tonight watching a basketball game. While we're here, they're watching a football game. They don't even understand. They're at a restaurant somewhere. They're doing their own thing. They don't give a flip. They're selfish. They don't give a flip about God's house. Some of them haven't tied. Some of them haven't given. Some of them got apartments. So somebody say, man, some of them got houses. I don't know when the last time they tied. I don't know when the last time they gave. I'm talking about driving cars, eating steak, and don't even realize there's a step away from death. Step away from death. Come on. You girls, you better be careful. I'm telling you, you better, you better lock it in you to stay virgin until you get married. You boys, too. You better lock it in. That girl's after your virginity, boy. He's after your virginity, girl. And if you blew it, don't get mad at the preacher saying, I ain't coming back here. I'm going to go to the church where he don't preach that way. Now, don't do that. Help me with these young kids. Amen. Don't be selfish. Help me with these little girls and boys. Amen. Help me with them. Get mad at me. Throw rocks at me. Say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to help. I'm going to help the preacher with these. I looked at those kids. I tell you, I sat there. Friend, I sat there on that bus and I looked at these kids and said what in God's name what hope do these kids have I'm talking about what hope do these kids have if God don't intervene if I don't get some help around here if I don't get some preaching and teaching going if I don't get some praying going on if I don't get some loving going Listen, these kids are going to wreck and ruin their lives. America's headed towards hell. Our country is about to be taken over by another country. Does anybody care? We've got to love. We've got to care. We've got to get some concern about bus routes. We've got to get some concern about soul. We've got to get some concern. Good night. They're going to the gas station. They can't. And somebody texts me and says, hey, preacher. Because I was getting with it like I'm getting with it tonight. See, you don't, you may have forgot. They haven't forgotten. They text me and say, hey, preacher. Um, he texts me. He said, um, in that sermon, you said, you wake up when you can't get no gas. He said, it's happening. I was getting with it. I mean, about, I, I don't know if it was a year ago. Some of you might remember. I was saying, okay, okay, okay. You just, what? God knows how to get your attention, America. You remember that? He said, you remember you were preaching? And he said, God will get people's attention. And then I remember there's a time I said, it gets so rough. You see the cabinets being empty, the shelves being empty, and it's going to be hard to get stuff. Trying to wake people up, trying to help people. I want people to be blessed, isn't it right? Oh, there's so much here. I got to skip a lot. Verse 22. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. Verse 22. And none of them that trust in him shall be what? Desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his what? Servants. servants. I, 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 I don't wish that on anybody. I've mentioned that one couple tonight. I, I mentioned that one couple tonight. Because I, I'm trying to motivate our young people and our church to serve him. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his what? Servant. What are you doing 
to serve the Lord. What are you doing to serve the Lord? I want God to come through. I love you, but you got to get off that bench warming stuff. You got to start to serve. I mean, we need some folks to line up and say, Sister Barry, you're going to be decorating. What can I do? What can I clean? What can I help? Amen. Sister Ruth, what can we do to help? If we see you delivering all this food, what, what can we do? Amen. What can I do? What can I do? Can I sing? What can I do? Can I play an instrument? What can I do? Can I clean? What can I do? Serve God. Sir. You, you serve God. Amen. What could you We got people in our church that are working and they're doing uh, so much work. There's so much work going on. But you got people that are just sitting, sitting. Thank God you're back. You guys from college, serve God. Get in. Roll your sleeve up, guys. This summer, don't you stink and drag your feet. Go sewing. Don't be like these that don't go sewing. Don't be like these that don't want to work on a bus ride. Don't be like these that don't want to come to a prayer meeting. Set the stage. Set the stage. Help out. Say, what can I do? Can I teach a class? What can I do? Can, can I paint? What can I do? God's been good to me. I got energy. I'm single. I'm single. I got more time. I want you to have a good time. Play your games, but serve God. Go ahead, play games, but serve God. I'm not saying you can't watch a movie. Watch a decent one, but serve God. You want to have what you have. Food on your table, clothes on your back. He hung on that cross and died with nails in his hands and nails in his feet. He was spit upon for you. He became sin for you. He overcame death and hell for you. Streets of gold for you. Jesus Christ giving you eternal life. Justified by his blood. Sanctified by him. Made you his saints. Look up here, son. Look up here. I said, don't be a stick of spoiled bread. They're trying to get over here to America. They're left in a desert somewhere. They're trying to get over the border wall. And I'm telling you, they wish they could have, be a United States citizen. God's blessed you with a wonderful house. Bless you with a wonderful home. Bless you with wonderful parents. You're not on the stinking street begging for food. What in God's name's wrong with you? Why don't you go ahead and love God and serve God? Brother, to take an hour out going so with it ain't going to hurt you. If somebody say amen. By the way, they shout at a basketball game. Leave these guys alone that's shouting. You ought to ask yourself why you ain't shouting. If you plunge your stick and wicked mind and all that stuff, you'll be able to shout. If you wouldn't do the stick and wicked stuff in your mind and your heart. And by the way, let's get off this stuff. Just because I don't smoke dope or drink or cuss or curse and uh, get off this kick. You know sin is sin? Do you know sin is just rebellion, doing your own thing? It's just selfishness? I ain't going to say amen. I ain't going to say hallelujah. I ain't going to nod my head. Man, a God's trying to get you to do something. Do you know that's rebellion? Do you know that? It's like witchcraft saw. Lost his humbleness. That's sin just like going up, just like any other sin. If I don't love my wife, if I don't love my wife and I don't do what God says to do, that's sin. You don't obey your mom and dad, sin. You don't honor them, sin. I'm not asking you to be a baby with a diaper on. I'm not asking you to be a little toddler and junior. I'm not asking you that. All I'm asking you is to honor your mom and dad like God told you. You ought to find out what, what is their desire, what they like. To please them. Amen. That pleases God. Amen. They're not asking you to do something stupid, sinful. Amen. They're trying to get you to do something Christian. You know, thank God you got a parent like that. Amen. And they remember when you were born and came out of the womb. Come on, now. Get grown and old and and you start getting older and show your independence in the wrong way. You know, what it does is lead. It leads you to other things. It leads you to tattoos. Yeah. It leads you to grow your hair out even longer. Braids. Earrings. You get more bold. Start openly shack up. Not even married. Don't give a flip. Who cares? You're so sticking messed up in the mind. That stuff took you farther than you ever thought you'd go.
Just trust him. And he'll bless you. Amen. He'll take care of you. Just trust him. Amen. Trust him. Amen. Trust him. Don't let it go out this air. Go out that air. Because I have preached as hot as I preached at night, and they went and go slept together, not even married. Went into the same house with them. Look at me. I have preached like I have preached and went and made out with their girlfriends and boyfriends. I have preached and gave all that I got in a rude husband to his wife or a rebellious woman to her husband. Don't let it go out this year out of the other year. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Make up your mind. <laughs> You're going to get the blessings of God and let God deliver you. Let him bless you. Amen. I have dreams for you. Okay? Do right. Just stay in this book and stay on your knees. You're going to do fine. Okay? Amen. Everything's going to be okay. All right? I promise you. But just stay close to him this week. Amen. Can I ask you a question? Where are you left off in your Bible reading? Where are you at? I will not embarrass you, some of you. Genesis to Revelation over and over again. You ought to read it and meditate on it. Where you at, kids? It's scary. That word have I what? Hid in my heart that it might not what? It scares me. Hey, guys, I will not even ask you where you're at. Where you leave off at? Where? And they got it now in the Bible. You can put it in the Bible. It'll tell you where you left off at. You got everything, you got everything else in your phone. Where you at? Does the Bible say it's a healing to your flesh? Proverbs 4, is a healing to your body? Is it? Is it healing to your body? Is it wisdom? I'm going to tell you, I love you, but you know what it is? It's a Bible problem. You rebel against your parents, it's a Bible problem. You rebel against your pastor, it's a Bible problem. Yeah. And I'll tell you something, friend. We have a God-given responsibility. Brother Burley, if Sister Therese don't turn out to be what she's supposed to be, it's your problem. If Sister Barnett don't turn out to be what she's supposed to be, it's my problem. So where you get that from? Ephesians. Christ made the church what it is. He makes the wife what it's supposed to be. That's why you got to find a godly Christian man. you got to find a godly Christian man. If you want to rise above what God wants you to be. Amen. That's the problem. Amen. 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 We have a heavy responsibility. Amen. Heavy responsibility. Very heavy responsibility. If we fear them, everything's going to be better. Let's bow heads in prayer for a little. Father, thank you so much. I love these dear precious people. I want the best for them. I want them to fear you. I want you to deliver them from the highway, from death. I want you to deliver them from... So many times you delivered me from death. I could have got shot and killed. I mean, I, I know there's times I could have been killed. And Lord, you delivered me. I can remember times, dear God, when a, a, a gun barrel was looking right at straight, and straight looking to a gun barrel. Looking at a bullet come to come. It didn't come to me. God, I looked for the truck. It never came. God, we need you tonight. These young people, we need, Lord, please help them. Help them to realize we love them. Help these boys and girls to realize we love them. Lord, help them, please. Don't let the devil get them. Lord, we have relatives that we love. Have mercy on them. God, please have mercy on them. Lord, I beg you have mercy, please. Friend, heads up, eyes closed. Do you understand I can preach like I'm preaching? It'd mean nothing.